Well, Latroy Guyon has once again been arrested. What does that mean for the future of the Packers' defensive line? Also, should we expect to see Brett Hundley get traded anytime soon? And if so, what will Green Bay get in return? And finally, the Kansas City Chiefs just fired their GM, John Dorsey. But is it possible that he could become the eventual replacement to Ted Thompson? We'll talk about that and more on this week's Pack Attack Weekly. Hey guys, welcome to our first ever episode of Pack Attack Weekly. I am your host, Ben Burns. Uh, now, as you might have guessed, I am a Packers fan, and I kind of wanted to just do a weekly recap for everything uh, green and gold, because there is uh, certainly a lot to cover. But let's get started right away with the biggest news of the past week for the Packers, and that was Latroy Guyon getting arrested for driving uh, under the influence in Waikiki, Hawaii, of all places. Now, this was the second time Guyon uh, had been arrested while on the Packers. If you remember back in 2015, uh, he was arrested with possession of a firearm and marijuana uh, and served a three-game suspension uh, for that felony. Now, on top of all that, Guyon is currently slated uh, to serve a four-game suspension at the beginning of the 2017 season uh, due to performance-enhancing drugs, uh, and it's probably safe to assume that he's going to get another four games, possibly even more, uh, for this recent arrest. So now that Guyon will be suspended for maybe half the season, it's, um, it's almost a certainty now that uh, the Packers are probably going to end up cutting him. Uh, even if Green Bay doesn't cut him, he's, he's going to have an uphill battle in training camp because he's going to have to prove to both coaches and front office that he's worth keeping even with those suspensions. So with all of that being said, we might as well take a look at some of the better available defensive linemen in the free agent market. Uh, and as you can see, there's actually a lot of big names available. Guys like Kendall Reyes, and Derek Marks, uh, even Vince Wolfork, who hasn't officially announced his retirement. Uh, he's been hinting at it, but who knows? He might want to go on a team like the Green Bay Packers, who have a chance at winning the Super Bowl, seeing if he can get a ring, or one more ring, I suppose, before he hangs up his cleats. Uh, now, we know that free agency is technically an option, but I don't see the Packers going that route simply because of what they have right now on their roster. And I'm going to, let's take a look at that, of their defensive lineman roster, minus guy on right now. And depth-wise, this is a stacked group of big guys. Of course, we all know Mike Daniels. Uh, he's definitely a full-time starter uh, and one of maybe their, our best defensive player. Uh, and then you just keep going down the list. Kenny Clark um, had a really solid second half rookie season. I think he's going to become a full-time starter now. Uh, but then the next three names, uh, Dean Lowry, Ricky Jean-Francois, and Montrevis Adams, those, those guys are the reason why I don't think we're going to have to worry about uh, Letroy Guyon either getting suspended or cut. Now, Dean Lowry had an incredible second half of the year, um, was kind of the big surprise in this rookie class. Uh, I, I could see him starting, either him or um, Francois. Now, Francois, obviously, he has the experience um, in the 3-4 defense, so that's going to help a lot. And uh, at the very least, he's, he's going to be a rotational guy uh, that, I mean... And that definitely will not hurt us at all. Uh, and then Montrevious Adams, I really liked this kid at Auburn. Um, kind of like Lowry and Clark, it might take a while for him to adjust to this defense. But I don't think that's going to be much of a worry because he is definitely, to me, he's going to be a guy who will end up starting for uh, Green Bay in the next coming years. Not Maybe not this season, maybe not next season but maybe looking towards 2019 and 2020. Uh, and I think the Packers have so much confidence in these defensive linemen. They only signed one undrafted uh, rookie, which is a big surprise to me because you usually get two, three, even four guys. But uh, that tells me that, you know, guys like Brian Price and Christian Ringo, 
they might get a roster spot. Uh, Ringo did get a roster spot last year. Uh, Brian Price was just on the edge. He ended up uh, joining the Packers midseason. But this is a group of guys who I think is going to be staying on this team for quite some time and possibly making a big dent uh, in the NFC North. Now for our second story, I wanted to talk a little bit about backup quarterback Brett Hundley. Uh, now while other backups like Jimmy Garoppolo and AJ McCarron have received attention for possibly becoming future starters and uh, trade pieces for their respective teams, not much has been said of Hundley, uh, who's now entering his third season. However, during many camp practices, Hundley uh, clearly received more first-team reps than usual and was uh, praised by the media and Coach McCarthy. So now people are starting to wonder, when will another team call up Ted Thompson uh, to talk about a trade involving Hundley? While that question still remains a mystery, Brett Hundley is well aware that his future as a star starting quarterback is most likely not in Green Bay. In fact, when he was asked about possibly being traded, he made no gripes about it. And he even said that he wants a team to give up a first round pick for him. Now you could judge this quote a million different ways, but to me this just shows how mature he has become ever since getting drafted from UCLA. Now he could be somebody that wants to know, doesn't want to talk about trades at all. I get that. But let, let's look at his situation here. He's the backup of Aaron Rodgers, and uh, barring any kind of injury, knock on wood, Aaron Rodgers is going to be the Packer starter for the next five to seven years. That's way too long for Huntley to be on the bench. He's better than that. He's going to be a starting quarterback possibly 2018-2019. So he wants to go to a team where he can be the franchise quarterback, and I get that 100%. That's why the Packers drafted him. They wanted a trade piece. They wanted a trade piece. They weren't looking for Aaron Rodgers' replacement. That's probably going to come in the next two or three drafts, uh, hopefully. But Brett Hundley, to me, he is a great quarterback. I, I would rank him over A.J. McCarron, maybe even Jimmy Garoppolo. He hasn't had that much playing experience, but if... Brett Hundley has a solid preseason, doesn't get hurt, and maybe even plays in a little bit of regular season and proves to be solid, we could see him traded in next offseason. Now, a first-round pick, to me, that's a lot. That would obviously be best-case scenario, but I expect a second-round pick out of him. And now remember, he was a fifth-round pick, so the return on investment here, first or second-round pick, is huge. And it just shows, you know, how much of a genius Ted Thompson in that entire front office is um, getting guys like Brett Hundley on the third day. So speaking of Ted Thompson, uh, this past week, John Dorsey, uh, the former GM of the Kansas City Chiefs, was fired after uh, the Chiefs decided they weren't going to give him an extension. And they said, well, we're just going to we're just going to fire you right away. So now it's being talked about is John Dorsey, who has previous experience with Ted Thompson, with the Green Bay Packers, is being asked, well, is he Ted Thompson's future replacement? And that question has been raised um, and it's been talked about really ever since uh, it was a rumor where Ted Thompson might retire and names have come up like Elliot Wolf, uh, Brian Gutenkunst, Russ Ball, and John Dorsey. Now with Dorsey getting fired, does this lessen or strengthen the chances of Dorsey becoming the next GM of the Packers? I would, I would say neither because to me, yeah, to me Dorsey is the kind of guy, even if he was the Chiefs GM at the time, and if the Packers asked if he wanted to come, to me, he would jump ship immediately. But at the same time, I just don't think John Dorsey is the repl is, is the replacement uh, that Mark Murphy is thinking. Um, now, I don't have a Magic 8 ball or anything, but um, I would guess it's going to be Elliot Wolf. Even if it's not Wolf, you have two other solid candidates in your own uh, front office with Gutenkunst. Uh, and Russ Ball. So uh, as much as I think John Dorsey is a solid GM or was a solid GM with the Chiefs, uh, the Packers have many, many, many other options. So um, unless something crazy happens and they lose uh, those three candidates to other teams, 
Um, right now, I would say John Dorsey, uh, look for some other jobs. Don't don't hold your breath. Now, for our last story, we of course talked about uh, the Packers' backup quarterback, so I thought it was only right to discuss the starting quarterback, the man himself, Aaron Rodgers. Now, I don't know how much television you guys watch, but uh, Aaron Rodgers was on a $1,000 pyramid uh, Sunday night. Now, for some reason, a lot of Packer fans might be up in arms about this, uh, much like they were up in arms when he was dating Olivia Munn, popular actress. Uh, and the reason behind all this is because Packer fans believe that all of this keeps Aaron uh, distracted and away from football. Now, if you're a sensible fan like I am, or like I believe to be, this is this shouldn't be a problem. This shouldn't be an issue. Aaron has a lot of different hobbies. He he loves golf. He loves you know being on game shows. He was on Celebrity Jeopardy before, uh, and to me this this is this is a non-issue. And I just wanted to bring it up because some people do think it's an issue, and that's completely ridiculous. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is somewhat of a celebrity, much like other um, quarterbacks of the present and pa and past, like the Manning brothers, Tom Brady, uh, Drew Brees even a little bit, Cam Newton. They're guys, they're franchise quarterbacks, so it's only natural for them to be in the spotlight and, and enjoy um, being in the national spotlight. And granted, Aaron Rodgers He's a cool dude. He's People love him, even if they're not Packer fans. That's why he's doing all of these things. So uh, to me, it's cool to see um, our team being represented on these shows, um, even if it's completely non-football related. So um, to the fans, though, that are a little bit worried, take it from Aaron Rodgers. Relax. All right, so that was our first episode for Pack Attack Weekly. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Hope you liked it. Uh, we'll be back next week with more Packers news. Uh, but uh, I'm Ben Burns, and I will see you guys later.